Today, prosecutors called one final witness, a Moraine police officer who reconstructed the deadly crash. The crash scene was large and it was very severe. There was a tremendous amount of debris. Pictures shown in court show what Marine Police Sergeant John Howard described as catastrophic front end damage to Abby Michael's white Kia and the Thompson family's Toyota. Timmy Thompson, his wife Karen, and their 10 year old daughter Tessa were killed in the 2019 crash. Michaels, who was 21 years old at the time, was charged with murder. Prosecutors say she intentionally drove the wrong way on I-75 after her husband, who filed for divorce two days earlier, told her he did not want to see her that night. He testified Michaels contacted him asking to come over after she had been at a restaurant celebrating St. Patrick's Day. When he said no, he said she told him she was going to drive backwards on 75. Today, Howard, who asked only to have his voice recorded in court, explained what data from the black box in Michael's car revealed. When I see an engine throttle percentage, as we do in this report, of 100 percent, means I have my gas pedal held down on the floor. Just seconds before the collision. Prosecutors say Michaels had been traveling north in the northbound lane, but then used this emergency turnaround to enter the southbound lane while continuing to head north. She crashed into the Thompson's car seconds later. Michael's defense, she had a seizure and wasn't in control of her car. Data points from an EDR do not tell us anything whatsoever as to what was going on in that vehicle with the operator of that vehicle. That is true. And defense attorneys claim Abby Michaels does have this medical issues, had it before this incident. Her husband at the time, her ex-husband now took the stand yesterday and he also testified to that again tomorrow. I expect the defense to put on a psychiatrist, a doctor to talk about the seizure disorder. Then on Thursday, I expect prosecutors to call a rebuttal witness that will be followed by closing arguments. Reporting live in Dayton tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right, Karen, thanks so much. The weather's